Hello, I am MTG Mr. Wizard. This is the Gym Tech backpack. It's called the Crocodile. You can find it. It still has a few copies out there. They're kind of hard to find. Uh, look on Google, you'll find lots of them. So this is my arsenal and we're gonna unpack it and show you what it can hold. Fast straps. Just in case I get bored of RCQ, I have my mini iPad has a bunch of games and a bunch of movies on it. Then my mat, my main mat. Okay, there's three dice in this compartment right here. This is my secret layer mat. Right here, this top compartment, you always wanna keep your zippers in the middle for security, are my three boxes that I use the least. Each one of these Gym Tech boxes, these are all the Senpai editions, hold two decks each. So that's six up top. Behind here, you can see I have my boogie board for any of my thought seize information. I have my dry erase marker, I'll tell you more about that later, and four pens, and an extra journal to keep track of my trades. And the very side pocket here, this is flexible, so I wanted to put some flexible uh, slots here for protection sleeves and some uh, cards that my wife does to inspire me to keep going when I lose hope. All right, so let's get that compartment. Put that back. Over here on the side is a TSA lock. It comes standard with pre-programmed 000. One of the information that you can't find on the internet is how to set it, and you set it with this little button right here. All right, this compartment. This is my binder compartment and my laptop compartment. This is a 480 slot binder, a nine pocket, three by three. My laptop, crazy expensive. And because I encounter a lot of people that don't have mats, I have an extra mat for two reasons. This is a 12 inch mat. I put it down on the bottom to protect my computer mainly and protect my binder because it has almost a half an inch gap up here at the top. So there's enough room. And it's always great to have an extra mat in case you encounter somebody that doesn't have one. So let's put this back. Binder, zipper side up. Laptop always on the inside so it's more protected. Comes in there right, nice and snug. Zip up position. And back. Now we're gonna talk about this little side pocket. I don't really have a good use for it right now, but what it has is the, uh, the clamshell that goes to the backpack. This fits the whole thing minus the binder compartment. And you can wear the backpack while this is on there. It's great for Louisiana weather to keep it protected from the eventual rain. Turn it on the side here and talk about this slot. This is the slot that I'm going to get in the most often. So it's going to hold my tournament decks. That way I don't have to deal with all this flap shit. This has a really nice magnet. Gym Tech's known for their magnets. In here, I have all my treasure coins. Some collectible stuff from Disney, Oakley, and even a long ago Comic Con. In this pocket right here, is a dragon shield cube sleeve this is important because sometimes i find decks or cards that i don't have and i want to be able to have the ability to write those cards remember them or use them in play if i'm testing them out before buying them and that fits in there almost like it was made for it if you look at the corners right here it fits perfect now this little slot right here there's room up at the top of this after you have this packed. I put my dice in there because I know I'm going to use all of those all the time. And I put my forged D&D uh, spell book in here that I use for tokens. Then let's get into the main decks. This is Rakdos Vampires. I'm going to use that the most often. It's got both Rakdos Vampires and... Blood letter combo has its own dice. Most of these are Oogie Boogie dice. You can look those up. My wife, the genius that she is, made this little flap so I don't have to get my fat fingers in there to get the damn dice anymore. So there's that. Four decks down here. This is our pre release kit. You can find these every once in a while, but they're kind of hard to come by. Our pre release kit pretty much contains just different sleeves for the both of us. Eventually, we want to get a set of 10 black border lands 
that we can each pick from to do our uh, pre-release battles. And that is that. That goes in there like that. We've got this nice big wide area right here. And that's gonna need some support. So I'm gonna put this down there. Fits just like that with that amount of room. And this goes in there. Just put it to the side. Boom. And done. 